Hi guys, it's me Carrie. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am here with another video, of course. Um, I've been back in the US probably two weeks now, and I feel like just yesterday I was in Grenada. Seriously, it felt like just yesterday I can feel the sand and the sea between my toes, and I miss home dearly, but I'm back. I have a life here as well. So <laughs> I'm just gonna um, put you up to speed with all that has been going on and how my vacation went. And if you guys were thinking of taking a trip, I hope this video helps you um, to prepare as well, especially going back to the Caribbean. There are certain things that are going to be applicable and certain things that you're totally going to just, it makes no sense at all. And I, I get it, but given that I'm from the Caribbean, born, bred, raised, go back all the time, I feel like this is a good place to just share some things with you that you should know whenever you're planning a trip to the Caribbean, especially the Southern Caribbean. If you do not know, Grenada is very close to South America. If you know where Trinidad and Tobago is, okay, that's where my husband is from, then you know Grenada is north of Trinidad and Tobago. So that is how south we are. Very, very south, very close to um, South America. So um, when I traveled, one thing I said I wasn't going to do is you know, have the camera up and do a lot of vlogging. I did that in the past and I feel like, okay, if I'm on vacation, I'm going to unplug and really try to soak up the Caribbean, really try to be present with my family. And I accomplished that. So that is why you did not see me put out a vlog type video or any vlog videos. I did make a few recordings here and there. Abony was with us, me and Ron. So, of course, there were certain things, certain milestones she met that I wanted to capture, so I did that. And there were other first-time experiences for all of us as well, so I wanted to capture that as well. Um, I was in the Caribbean for five weeks. It was a five-week vacation, and then Ron joined us later, and he was there for two weeks. And in that two weeks, we took a mini couple's trip, just me and him, to Barbados, which is an island in the, in the Caribbean. You know, if you know Rihanna, that's where she's from, Barbados. And so Ebony stayed with my parents and me and Ron, we were able to enjoy that short time together. We needed, we needed that. So, um, so, you know, one of the things you would, whenever you go back to the Caribbean and especially if you live in North America, I am in Texas, you will kind of, feel the difference. It's a very laid back part of the world. It's very laid back, very chill. Um, when you're growing up in an island, you're on an island, so you're kind of isolated a little bit. Connected, but isolated because you're on an island. So the first thing you're probably going to um, notice is that a lot of things in the Caribbean is kind of laid back compared to the North American lifestyle. Um, there are things that you can access, but it is not always easily accessible so uh, that can be very frustrating and even though Ron is a born bred Trinidadian okay Ron came up to the U US when he was like what 13 14 uh, there was some frustrations that I didn't make it a big deal but there was some frustrations for him and um, you know I anyway he's over it but I, I'm telling you if you're used to a certain lifestyle for so long um, certain things you're probably gonna struggle with on a very small scale so here is what you want to do and what I did I travel with American Airlines a lot so that is the airline I travel with I'm also an advantage um, flyer so I have an advantage account for me and for Ebony children can open an account well you can open an account for your children when they're two so I opened one for Ebony when she turned two and that is just so I can collect my miles and miles eventually turn into points and rewards like uh, tickets, domestic tickets and things like that. They do work. They do work, but it takes time. But I travel all the time and American is my preferred flight. So um, my, my preferred airline. So that is why I went ahead and I opened an Advantage account, Advantage account with them. And I had that account for a long time. So that is something you want to look into if you're a frequent flyer. And um, so we started talking about a vacation last year last year last november december i knew we were going to travel this summer so in february of this year we went ahead and purchased our tickets so we purchased tickets for um from dallas to grenada 
and then Grenada to Barbados and back and then our returning flight. So that is what we did. Um, whenever you're booking flights to the Caribbean, you want to be very careful when you actually buy your tickets because in the space of a week, tickets can, there can be like a $300 difference. Okay. And that is like a 300 US dollars <laughs> difference. Um, when we went, Carnival was kind of heating up. Um, Carnival is right in the middle of August. So I'm no longer there. So I'm, I miss Carnival. But when we went over to Barbados, we were like a week prior to their crop over which is carnival in barbados so you can have to be very careful because it can be very very expensive if you do not know um those kinds of little details it can be very expensive expensive for a tourist and i say a tourist because when i go back to grenada i actually stay with my family i stay at my home with my with my mom and my dad in their house <laughs> so i'm not paying for hotel accommodations when we travel to barbados me and ron we did the whole Airbnb thing and it was it was cheaper that way. There were some hiccups, but it was cheaper that way. We had the place for ourselves. We were able to prepare our own meals and so. And Airbnb is a booming business back in the Caribbean and here as well. And um, it is the way to go. I feel like Airbnb will eventually put out some of these hotels out of business, legit business. Um, so um, just a couple of things. Of course, our passports passports had to be updated Abby had her passport since she was five months um everyone well i was updated a little bit Abby was fully updated on her vaccines you know coming from the caribbean i don't freak out over stuff but um Abby, on the other hand was born here so i always have to make sure her vaccines are up to date um and then any type of document like you know when we when whenever i leave the u.s ron has to be at the the counter with me physically or i have to have a signed document saying that he's aware that i'm taking abney with me and that just goes back to child protection and the whole human trafficking thing everyone has to do that so if your spouse or significant other will not be at the counter with you let's say like they're in deployment or in another country or whatever you have to get a notarized letter saying that the person knows and they give you permission to go do that. I had to do that before. I went to Bank of America, got the letter notarized, and Abney was able to leave with me without hiccups. And of course, for re-entering the country, you wanna make sure you have your ducks in a row. We all know immigration is a huge thing these days, the issues centered around that. Um, for me, I'm a permanent resident. Abney and her dad, they're citizens. Um, so uh, I don't ever have an issue, but you always have to make sure your ducks are in a row whenever you're doing international travel, especially coming back into the United States. So for the most part, I would say start making a checklist before you leave the country and before you enter the Caribbean. You just need to have a checklist because you might forget essential things. Um, so some things that I carried with me, I'm not going to go through all of the details, but um repellent of course you're going in the tropics so you will have to battle some huge mosquitoes um nets or netted beds so my parents have nets and so at the house and fans and all of that stuff but um since abney traveled the first time so she was what probably five months when she went to grenada with me i had this little netted bed for her okay this is that so it goes on top of your bed and of course you can see the net and everything like that there is a another soft mattress that you put in here and that is all you put and it helps to keep out the mosquitoes and so and it's very perfect for traveling and um it falls down <laughs> it falls down like that and so that can just fit into your in her diaper bag or handbag I keep this with me in my carry-on because you never know what's gonna happen to your bags and you don't want to be stuck in the tropics and your baby is not protected so that is and always will be a must-have for me then um, long sleeves uh, that helps to keep away sand flies and mosquitoes and whatever else you find in the tropics but light clothing Grenada is constantly hot the Caribbean is constantly warm we have two season sunny and well wet and dry season and wet season can even feel hot so you always want to make sure you're just um in light comfortable clothing sunscreen a car seat we do check for car seats back home but a stroller is not necessary in the caribbean everyone just carry they carry their children and you can wrap them up and carry them like that or carry carry them in a carrier baby carrier 
and Ebony walks. She's two and a half or over two and a half. So she's walking and she's strong and she can do that. So you don't really need a stroller. I had my stroller, but I left it at home. I was going to come back to the US with a sun stroller. So you can have your stroller, but it's not necessary. Any kind of supplements and medication, you want to carry that. For me, I had my protein from Raw Barrel. That's what I traveled with. I had my... Um, vitamin d in the bottle even though i was getting the sun in the caribbean i still wanted to make sure i was getting my supplementation in a multivitamin for ebony i had my um garlic i do take h garlic that has been a blessing and something else i can't remember but I, the point is that take all that you need including your medications um when you get to your destination okay know where a doctor is located i know um, being from Grenada, I know where every hospital is and I know where the doctors are because you never know when you'll have an emergency. And um, walk with cash. Uh, a few, couple of years ago when I traveled, my debit card was locked. Even though I went to the bank and I said, do not lock my card. I'm traveling within this period of time. Um, and I even did it online. They still went ahead and locked my card. So thank heavens I was with my parents and I wasn't stranded, right? But there was a time when I got to Miami and I couldn't use my card. It was locked and they refused to unlock it until I, unless I was there in person. So what I did this time around, I had more cash, okay, to, you know, money to use. Um, most countries accept US dollars, but you can go to any bank and convert to your local currency. And I, and I opened an alternative account not my regular account and I just had enough emergency money and spending money in that account so even though like let's say there is a compromise or something like that all of my money doesn't disappear at least it's just that and it was what I was willing to part with just in case because you never know right people do hack things I mean look what happened to Capital One and Equifax and all that stuff there are people out there okay people will try stuff and um make a daily budget ron was very good at budgeting when we were in barbados i mean i had a little bit of money but ron was the one taking care of the budget he had enough for for both of us for our meals um for accidents whatever it was he was taking care of that and it's always how we prefer to travel um so that's that's that for the most part i mean you know, it, traveling can be stressful, especially when you have a small child. It was easier for me when Abney was a baby. I could just wrap her up. But now she had her own seat. I had to pay for her own seat by, by law. Was there two? They need their own seat. So she had her own seat and then had the car seat. And Abney was just up, down, up, down. And that was very tiring. It was very, very tiring. And I had too many bags. That's another thing. I made a barrel. I made a barrel and I'll try to insert some things and things like that in here to travel. So I sent all of the diapers, all of the canned foods, everything. I sent a lot of supplies in this barrel with a freight company like two months prior. And um, I still ended up traveling with so much like two check-ins and two carry-ins and a diaper bag and a car seat and a, you know, all, a lot of stuff. And I would never do that again. I would never do that again. You live and you learn. I would never do that again. So um, it can be very, very stressful. But next time, I wouldn't have a car seat. Abney mean, should be big enough, old enough. Even at this age, she didn't really need the car seat for the, the plane. But for Grenada and driving, she did. But next time, she'll be old enough where um, I'll be able to plan a lot better and travel a lot lighter. I took a lot of pics. I'll include those here. I'll include pictures and the mini videos from my time in Grenada and me and Ron's time in Barbados. Um, people always ask, why do you go to two similar islands? As a matter of fact, Grenada and Barbados, they're not the same type of island. Grenada, like the rest of the Caribbean, okay, they're, it's volcanic. Barbados, on the other hand, is a limestone island. So, Whereas in Grenada, you'll see the, the huge mountain range and the rivers and whatever, whatnot. In Barbados, it's pretty flat. Okay, it's like a it's limestone, think coral reef type soil. Okay, and they have a lot of beaches. I think we do have better beaches. Okay, they're more calm. But Barbados is beautiful as well. It is very, very beautiful. Um, each island has uh, unique uh, things to appreciate. And Barbados, this is like my eighth 
well maybe my sixth time to Barbados so it's a place that I'm used to and so we're trying to get into that thing of exploring different cultures in the Caribbean so maybe next time we'll go to the Spanish Caribbean and maybe another time the Dutch Caribbean or the you know I don't know we'll see what happens right but I will insert some pictures um I don't want to make this video a comparative you know Grenada versus Barbados type thing because it's not about that the Caribbean is the Caribbean anyway um, but I wanted to reach out and just let you know these are the things that you should really focus on when you're traveling to the Caribbean. I feel like when people say Caribbean, especially when you're from North America, you think about Jamaica and the Bahamas and that's it. Okay, but there's so much more to the Caribbean. There are like 7,000 islands. Okay, just by definition of what an island is, there are like 7,000 islands in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. But probably around 20, 30 nations. I, I think so. I'm not too sure. But there's just so much more. So come to the Southern Caribbean where there's a different feel and a different vibe. And you will appreciate it. You'll really, really appreciate it. But that's it, guys. I am going to insert a few things here and there and try to add captions here and there so you understand. But I didn't want to vlog, vlog, vlog while I was on vacation. And I'm missing time with my family and, and all that. I just think that's just... I'm, I'm, over that right now okay if you want to see the caribbean you go to the caribbean we have so much to offer but that's it enjoy the rest of the video until next time peace and i will try to be back here with another video as well i know sometimes you guys just like to see me throwing around the weights and lifting and doing this and doing that i'm still working out but sometimes you have to switch it up okay share the videos share my workouts my workouts are still legit workouts share them from a year ago my postpartum workouts Share my postpartum workouts. People get pregnant all the time. They have kids all the time. Let's help them to bounce back, snap back, and feel better. Share my anxiety and overcoming anxiety videos. Share my migraine videos and how I overcame migraines and all of that jazz. So, yep. Yeah. All right. Bye.